Okay, so one of the main modes of regulation within our kidney is going to be something known as renin. And renin is an extremely important proteolytic enzyme that is going to be released when our blood pressure drops. And we don't want our blood pressure to drop because that can force our glomerulus or capillaries to collapse. So what we have sitting in our afferent arterial here are going to be these cells known as juxta glomerular granule cells. And these cells are going to be the ones that will recognize when our blood pressure is low and in doing so will release this renin. So with a low blood pressure we're going to release renin. Okay, so we have this large protein generated by the liver known as angiotensinogen. And angiotensinogen is going to be able to be cut up by this protein we release from our juxtaglomerular cells known as renin. So renin is going to take this angiotensinogen and it's going to cut it up into a 10 amino acid long peptide. And that peptide is going to be known as angiotensin 1. And angiotensin 1, like I said, is going to be 10 amino acids long. Now this angiotensin 1 is then going to be inactive. So we need to activate this angiotensin. And in doing so, we're going to release this protease and this protease is going to convert angiotensin 1 into an 8 amino acid known as angiotensin 2. And to convert that, we're going to release something known as angiotensin 1 converting enzyme. And I'll abbreviate that as ACE. So we have our angiotensin 2, which is now an active amino acid. And what it will allow is for us to contract our smooth muscle. And if you look back to that image I drew before, it's going to contract that smooth muscle in the afferent arterial. And in doing so, it's going to have some important functions. Okay, so we know that we're going to release renin in response to low blood pressure to prevent our capillaries from collapsing. So as you can assume, when we activate that angiotensin 2, we're going to contract our smooth muscle surrounding our afferent arterioles. And in doing so, that's going to result in an increased blood pressure. Another function of renin is it's going to stimulate the release of aldosterone. And I won't talk about aldosterone in this video, but it is extremely important in regulating the absorption of water from our distal convoluted tubule. And then the last function is it's going to increase our thirst. So renin is very important in regulating our hypotension or low blood pressure and ensuring that we increase this blood pressure. One of the last things I'll talk about is hypertension. And hypertension is also known as high blood pressure, which can be very straining on the heart because it forces it to work harder. So a lot of the times when patients go to see their physicians, they have high blood pressure. And the physician will oftentimes give them something known as an ACE inhibitor. ACE inhibitor. And this ACE inhibitor is going to prevent that angiotensin 1 converting enzyme from working. And we know that that ACE enzyme is going to convert our angiotensin 1 into our angiotensin 2 so that our angiotensin 2 can force smooth muscle contraction. So if we're given this ACE inhibitor by our physician, what that's going to do in turn is decrease the amount of angiotensin 2 we produce which is going to decrease the amount of aldosterone released and it's also going to in turn decrease our blood pressure.